Welcome to Sterling High School. Today is Thursday, July 2nd, and this is our new norm. I'm going to take this off now so that we can speak to you clearly. But uh, welcome, and it is now summer, so congratulations. You made it. Happy July. And Coach Sheehan, uh, congratulations, sir. July 1 started your effective. You are now our superintendent. Thank you, and congratulations. Well, thanks a lot. It was a, uh, a quite a challenge, you know, having two positions last year from uh, March through the end of the school year and uh, trying to get the school to the finish line. Uh, I couldn't have done it without a great administrative team, a great staff. Uh, the students did a great job, and the parents were very supportive. So I'm um, looking forward to the new challenge starting July 1st and the opportunity to hand off some of my responsibilities to you as our building principal now July 1st. So yeah. um, again, thank you for your work in the uh, late spring there, um, and good luck in the position as, as principal. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, super excited. Uh, this is home for me. Uh, being a Knight uh, has, has been very special. As though I haven't, I'm not a graduate as you are, um, this has been the home for me and my family for a long time. So uh, we, are, we hope to stay for for the rest, for the long haul. My kids come here, the whole deal. So thank you so much. We're excited. Again, July 1 was the, the a formal start, and uh, we're into the summer. And, and as you can see with our signs, we have a big challenge of the road back. But before we get there, I get to introduce Mr. Scott Manlove. Thank you. Mr. Manlove is our athletic director beginning July 1. Congratulations, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you first for your faithfulness to our district, your passion for athletics activities. You've been leading um, sports activities here at the high school for a long, long time. And, and you are a, a Colonial Conference at heart, um, histories at, at heights, but, but really, just like me, this is home for you. And it, it has been. It's been 30 years. I grew up at Heights. I've been in the district for 30 years. I'm thrilled. It's been a dream uh, to be part of the sports program. I've got big shoes to fill. I'm filling your shoes. Just keep Who filled <laughs> Mr. Shane's yeah. shoes. Uh, so the, the bar is set high. I'm excited. I've been involved in sports since 1965 here at Sterling High School, and I look forward to continuing it. And it's a challenge, but we're going to make it work. Awesome. Thank you. All right, so let's talk about uh, finishing out uh, the 1920 school year, the class of 2020, uh, it was not the design, but I think we really did it very well, especially under the circumstances. Right, it was very challenging and, and it, it took a total team effort. Uh, it was a lot of partnering with uh, stakeholders in, in from the Board of Education, community staff, uh, you name it. So um, we were, you know, as we've said before, we were, we were building the plane while we were in the air, um, coming up with a preparedness plan, remote learning, um, you know, just adjusting what was the new normal for students. And then after we made an adjustment, having to readjust because things may not have worked as, as we thought they were initially. So uh, it was really quite a challenge. It was very, it was a great opportunity to learn, you know, what works, what doesn't, um, how people are going to respond under stressful situations and really getting a greater respect for what people are dealing with at home. I mean, we could have all the plans we want at Sterling High School, but it, it's a challenge well beyond the walls of Sterling High School. And uh, so that was our thing, was to try to get everybody to that finish line um, in good academic shape, good mental shape, um, dealing with things that maybe they had never had to deal with before, obviously they didn't have to deal with before. So that was really a learning experience for me. And people always say to you, like, man, you jumped into that superintendent position, you had to deal with that. But there was no playbook. Uh, we we kind of figured it out. And fortunately, you know, you're part of a cohort of, of superintendents from around Camden County, around the state, that we were able to share ideas, best practices, and, and, and challenges. So um, I, I felt very lucky to be in that position with the people around me uh, to help out. And you had, as an athletic director, certain challenges. So how about talk about those challenges? Yeah, correct. So first, I had to inform athletics that we had to shut down. Uh, the, the coaches were on the front lines and did a phenomenal job of pre-planning, being prepared with virtual workouts, um, which they did very successfully. Um, student athletes were participating, participating with their families, their parents, in some of those workouts. And they did a tremendous job. Uh, you know, and then now we're still carrying. When is it that we can can formally start back up? But we'll we'll talk more about that. But let's talk about graduation a little bit. And it's, it's a great group here. Mr. Manlove served as our junior senior advisor, so he's been 
uh, directly involved in the graduation for how many years have you done that? Uh, it's probably been about 25 years. Yeah, so, years, yeah. so tell us, what do you, how do you think uh, it, we did? I had to thank the board, the administration, uh, the faculty, the staff, everyone that volunteered, the parents that came out to make the virtual graduation what it was. We couldn't have done it without them. Uh, we, again, it's, we've never done it before. I hope to never do it again. But everyone pulled together, we got the support, and I believe the parents got an experience that no other group has ever had and hopefully will ever have again of being able to be an actual part of the graduation. And it was tough. Uh, again, we flew by the seat of our pants, but we got it done. And I think the, the final product was a great outcome. Mr. Sheehan, there's some pieces of the graduation that stuck out to you that you really like or you heard great feedback from parents about. Yeah, well, you know, um, as Mr. Manloff said, a lot of people contributed to that. I really got to point out to Mr. Kozineski and the job, you know, Mr. Farr, Mr. Strauss, that they did reaching out to uh, local celebrities, people in the broadcast industry, uh, former graduates. Um, those small touches really made an impact on that graduation package. And um, I think that's what you saw. You saw the community come together for the class of 2020. And as Mr. Manoff said, we don't want to have to do this again. You know, I'm hoping that the class of 2020 learned a lesson and everybody learned a lesson this year how to make things better for people, you know, be, uh, beyond the year of 2020. So um, I can't say enough about the community that, that stepped up, the alumni, and you know, people that really took a lot of time out of their lives to make that a, an experience for the class of 2020. So um, again, total team effort. If it came down to one person, I don't know what we would have produced, but when everybody got involved and allowed people that, that have talent to use their talent to get things done, and, and uh, you know, Mr. Barringer, Mr. Marlies, Mr. Manlove, um, Mrs. Phillips, um, people just did a great job um, trying to really put on a, an experience for the, for the class of 2020. So the feedback I got has been wonderful. Um, and again, a very supportive Board of Education that trusted us to, to look out for the class of 2020. I really like the amount of staff that volunteered to come up and help usher. Uh, really gave a personal touch. It did. You know, so they met with the family of the graduate right at their car. We're able to walk them through the experience. Uh, they had pictures that we, never before did we offer those types of picture opportunities for right. them. And then, of course, like the culmination was that parent actually got to distribute that. And we diploma. got to be a part of that. I think we all had the feel good moments when you were down having a rough afternoon. You had that moment with the family and the student that was just, you get goosebumps. You're like, wow, that was really a unique moment that, again, I hope the parents and the students um, can relive in their minds forever. And, and that was one of the things that I took away is the attendants had a great experience and oftentimes they would identify a student that they had a particularly close relationship with and they would, would want to experience that with them and uh, I think they all walked away with a special feeling and you know the staff that, that couldn't contribute I said boy if you get a chance come on up just to, to go through that one time it really made it worth it and you can see all the work that went into it and uh, so that was, that was very cool. Well, here's an example um, Mr. Barringer with the, uh, with the hearty claps for every student. Of course. Burkhan a yeah, it was, that was super emotional. It so was. speaking to what Mr. Sheehan said, if you didn't get a chance to, to view that, um, go to our Sterling website, go to the YouTube uh, TV 19 and check that out. It's, it's awesome, no matter what uh, grade level you're in and you're a parent of any grade level, it was a great experience. So with that, uh, congratulations again to the class of 2020. Uh, we have some huge challenges now um, as we dive into the summer and prepare for what is called the road back and that uh, is huge for education. So I'm gonna start with you, uh, Mr. Sheehan, some of the district challenges that right away are up front um, for us. Okay, so starting on July 1st, we were able to bring back our 12-month employees from March, end of March all the way through June, it was essential employees only, which was very limited. So we're able to get a little bit more of our personnel back so we can begin the plan. And the guidance that we're receiving Pretty much as the parents receive it, we're receiving it as an administration, as superintendent. Um, a return plan has been set up by the state. Um, it's cumbersome. It was 107 pages long. Uh, the, the Camden County superintendents met yesterday. We met with the, the commissioner of health for Camden County. How do we bring kids back safely? Um, so the, they actually have three plans. A plan for full return, a plan for full remote, and then a hybrid. Now the hybrid will be different from district to district, depending upon your needs and, and the needs of your community and, and your students and their parents. So uh, it's our job now to kind of travel that road and see what we can come up with. Um, but again, it's going to take a whole lot of time and effort, and we may not have it, you know, we're going to be a little bit more prepared than we were last year, 
but we're going to have to, to learn and adjust and, and be very flexible as we set this up. So parents, I know that we sent out a survey about a week or so ago, and we appreciate everybody's feedback with that. It's very helpful. You may be receiving more surveys, and we'd like to be able to present to you probably early August Storing High School's plan to return in a hybrid type setting and what that would look like. So it's, it's going to be a challenge for the administration to try to handle that and, and to set that up uh, so that we can have a safe return to school. Uh, remote learning, remote instruction was wonderful. I thought people made a great adjustment to it, but it's not the ideal for all learners. So we have to try to blend it somehow so that we can really um, provide for our students, not only educationally, but emotionally, socially, uh, just that total high school experience. So that's our challenge this summer. Uh, it's not on one person to do. It's a collective challenge, and uh, again, we'll be looking for parent feedback and support as we, as we journey down this uh, challenge. Good. So just reviewing that, they had, there was one survey we did just talking about coming back to school. We have a professional development group of teachers that are developing an, an additional survey that's going to focus more on the instructional piece and what that might look like in remote or hybrid instruction. So please look for that to come out in the coming weeks. And then, as you said, we'll give you more information on our plan there in early August. But the challenge, you know, as you said, there's no playbook. Uh, it's, it's fun with a new admin team. You know, we were in the classroom, moving desk on a whiteboard. Um, that's the groundwork of, of developing this plan and what it's going to look like to bring students into the building and, and keep them safe. Um, and that's definitely our goal is we want to come to the school in a safe environment where people are comfortable. Uh, but it's 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 kind of fun, it, but it it's is. just it's a new frontier. It is, but it's uh, obviously it's it's very serious and challenging. Yeah, we uh, we got we had the, a meeting yesterday, so uh, with the county, and I met with Mr. Claiborne afterwards, and, and just walking around looking at the potential of what school could look like next year. And I think people have to get away from like a normal, what is normal, you know, and and really what is going to be appropriate, what is going to be responsible, um, and we have you know a solar canopy system set up around the campus. Um, you know, there's the possibility of doing more open air instruction or providing open air for uh, cafeteria time or whatever that may be. So um, we're, you know, no stone left unturned. Any ideas, a, a good idea to consider. So uh, we're going to have to, you know, have to really put our minds together here and come up with a, a pretty good game plan. Um, I think I'd be remiss if I didn't mention I did it at graduation. Um, you know, our, our seven retirees who combined for, I think, 179 years of service. One of the challenges that we had to do at the end of the, of the year is hire new staff. So we have new staff that you know we've hired. Uh, some of them started July one. Obviously, the people in the positions up here on the panel started July one. But we had you know several staff members who are coming from out of district, uh, first time or a few years experience. So they're going to have to get integrated into what Sterling is like and get ready for next year. So that's another challenge is our our orientation of new staff and and really all the staff as far as what next year may look like. So good challenge to have. Good challenge, and we're working yeah. together. Uh, so, Mr. Manlove, uh, typically at this point uh, in July, we are almost open door with athletics. Correct. So, again, we're, we're trying to transition back. The NJSIA doesn't want you to just jump full in. So, there's this, this phase one thing. Can you tell me what that yeah, is looking phase like? Phase one, we're actually working on right now to get the details of, out, I guess, out to the parents, out to the coaches, out to the students, that they want safety first. And we're, we're focusing on how to bring the athletes back onto the fields in the safest way possible. And phase one will basically deal with conditioning. Uh, scheduled to begin July 13th. We are working on a plan right now to ensure the safety of the students when they do return. And, and just note, just similar to the back to school plan, the athletic plan, you know, there's guidelines. So the state gives some guidelines, the county gives some support. Uh, as an administration, we would get support what's best for our school. So the natural thing to do is for you to compare to other schools, and that's just not going to be applicable in either of these situations, whether it's athletics or back Correct. to school. Um, every school is going to have the ability to kind of design it how it fits them best. Um, and that's we have to make the decision that fits our school, our needs, or, and the safety of our students best. Yeah, and I hope that with the end of last school year, we kind of proved, you know, even with graduation, people were looking at districts a town over, a couple towns over. And uh, you know, really trust us to, to make a collective decision that we think is best for Sterling High School. And I hope the product's going to be, again, you know, a, a home run like the uh, graduation was. But you know, it's going to be, a, a, again, a shared challenge. And, uh, and I think that we've proven we're up to the challenge. I think you have a, a staff, uh, an administration that doesn't shy away from a, from a tough conversation or a tough decision. Um, and we always look out, number one, for, for the health and well-being of our students and our staff. Very good. All right, with that.
We're can ready? we go with a little advice? Can, can I, we give Mr. Manlow uh -oh. some uh -oh. advice? Yeah. So how about you give him one piece of advice? Because we both had that position I'll as athletic you. director. I'll take it. The advice for the athletic director. You have a phenomenal staff of coaches, which comes from Mr. Hiltner through Mr. Sheehan, right on through, as, as you said. You know, you, you get as much as your paperwork out of the way so that they can just flourish and then you get to sit back and, and enjoy, enjoy, really. Um, but you know, there's a lot of paperwork that nobody knows mm -hmm. about. You're not the guy that just sits and rides the golf cart. That's not mm -hmm. true. Um, there's so much behind the scenes, but more you can knock out is the more time you'll be able to enjoy it later. And, and, and seeing your coaches doing their craft and, and most importantly, the students excelling yeah. in what they love. Good. Right, and you kind of stole mine, hire well. <laughs> If you have good coaches, it really makes your, your job easy. And then, as Mr. Claiborne said, if you can get ahead of the paperwork in the summertime, when you get that curveball come, you know, the second week of September where something slips up, now you can apply your time to it. And I want to predict you're going to get a lot of curveballs. Uh, oh, you know, this, I, 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 I've <laughs> never been a baseball player, but I'm ready for them. And I'm fortunate. I have you guys. You've both done the position before. Uh, there's just a wealth of knowledge for me to build on. And I'm, I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to it. It's not the normal return to work but it, it, it's going to be a cool new opportunity and i'm looking forward to it great great love it okay is my turn to close this out yeah yeah yeah, yeah. all right so i'll be closing this out uh we're going to return to the masks here as will be the norm in the hallways before i do i want to wish you a wonderful holiday fourth of july and and happy summer we'll see you again soon go knights <laughs>